What did Yuta mean when he said he and Yuji cheated? Let's talk about it. But as always, if you're not caught up in the manga, keep scrolling. So just as a little refresher, in chapter 250, Sukuna has got his smug ass smile on and he's talking about how not only Yuji somehow learned reverse curse technique in a month, but Akotsu's barrier techniques have also vastly improved because Akotsu has managed to only target Sukuna with his domain expansion's sure hit effect. So he says, what have you guys been up to for the past month? These two simultaneously respond with Yuji saying hard work and dedication, but Yuta says that they cheated. Now what could he possibly have meant by that? The language used here felt very intentional, which is really interesting. Plus the mannerisms were interesting here. Yuji, you know, Mr. Captain America, hard work, dedication. But Akotsu's like, no, I'm tired of your shit, Sukuna. We've cut all the corners we needed to just to beat that ass. Clearly a lot has happened during this month time skip that we are not privy to. And Yuji's power up is near the top of that list. But it's not just Yuji. Basically, everyone has had a substantial power up to the point where it's been explicitly mentioned more than a few times in the recent chapters. So, what happened to cause everyone to get such a boost? Because JJK is not the type of manga to have your typical training arc, where everyone's just, you know, doing push ups and giving each other high fives, boosting morale for their big fight coming up, right? Like, that's not JJK. So, what are the possibilities that could have led to this? that would have also made Akotsu consider it cheating. For me, there's a couple of possibilities, but first I want to talk about Udahime and Gakuganji's curse techniques, like buffing everyone else the same way they did with Gojo's Hollow Purple. To me, that doesn't make sense, not to mention the fact that they're not seemingly around right now, and there's not going to be an infinite range on those things, but also Akotsu wouldn't consider like his allies' curse techniques as cheating. So I don't think this is what he's referring to. So the first thing I think could be at play here is whatever is happening in this panel. Whether you want to think it's Yuji's soul technique to some form or maybe something completely different, the implication here is obviously a body swap. And that implication was doubled down on by Gege when volume 25 came out and we got that extra sketch of Kusakabe. Let me just show it. This one here, which also implies that Kusakabe is in Yuji's body at this point. So again, regardless of how the mechanics of that happened, if that is a body swap, perhaps there have been lots of body swaps going on between everyone on the good guy team. Now, what would be the point of that? They could all be learning from each other, probably on a much faster learning curve than by, you know, typical training. For example, if Yuji and Kusakabe are to switch, Yuji perhaps could learn a ton about simple domain and just fighting styles and techniques from being in Kusakabe's body. Now, just imagine all of the different swaps that could go on. Perhaps Yuji learned reverse curse technique from swapping with Shoko. But not only Yuji, Yuji could be swapping other people potentially. And again, not that it's Yuji's curse technique. But however the body swap is happening, maybe they don't even involve Yuji, right? Like maybe Akotsu swaps with Inamaki and gets an even better understanding of cursed speech. Yada, 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 etc., etc., etc. I think this is at least potentially a reason for like an exponential growth rate. The next possibility is that something weird's been going on with this sumo guy. If you recall him from the culling games, he and Maki did over a thousand matches in his simple domain and less than a minute went by outside of the barrier. So this dude's simple domain is literally a hyperbolic time chamber. And in the moment, this did feel kind of weird, but it's like, okay, you know, Maki got a lot of experience and she got to fully realize, you know, her potential and she became like Toji. So cool, you know, like we can, this, we'll let it go, even though this is kind of a weird thing to pull out of nowhere. But if this was just planting the seeds and now this comes back in the current arc in the manga, it makes a lot more sense, right? Especially like, imagine if this didn't happen during this Maki situation and Gege pulled this out of his ass in the current fight. Everyone would have been like, what an ass pull, right? But since there's precedent for it here, it kind of makes sense. Again, it's literally a hyperbolic time chamber. And it's a simple domain, so like maybe this guy isn't the only one that could do it. A Kotsu could potentially copy it, or you know, if there is a body swap situation going on, maybe other people could learn it, and we've got like 12 of these hyperbolic time chambers going on. Or maybe more than two people can just enter it to begin with, and they're all training in there. It is kind of a stretch, but it, it makes actually a lot of sense, because that would clearly explain how Yuji progressed so far in a month, and how Akotsu learned how to hone his barrier techniques so quickly. Um, it answers everything, but is it likely 
I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Like it, it feels kind of like ridiculous, but at the same time, it checks every box. And then finally, we've got the prison realm, which is basically the exact same idea as the sumo guy, but basically worse because one, we don't know what the status of the prison realm is at this point. Did it get destroyed? I mean, Angel used her technique on the back of the prison realm. So is the main prison realm still okay? Who knows? Even if it is, is it at the bottom of the ocean or did Gojo grab it? Um, and even if all of those things are true, only one person can go in here at a time and it is just kind of like a mini hyperbolic time chamber. So they're not able to like learn from anybody else, but they could, you know, at least train with some time dilation. But this is the least likely to me. I think if this was the route Gege was going, it would be with the sumo guy. One other potential thing it could be would be like a complex series of binding vows where they have all borrowed power and are only going to be this strong for like a limited amount of time. Now, clearly that could be an infinite number of things, right? Depending like what they could have given up, I mean, for a temporary power boost. Um, I don't think this is it, but it's at least possible. So I wanted to mention it. Now, of all of those things we just mentioned, what would a Kotsu consider cheating? Really, only the hyperbolic time chamber makes sense to me. The rest are pretty, like, standard procedure, and why would he consider that, like, cutting corners? So, I don't know. That's my two cents on this. Not saying it's one of those things. It could be something completely different, but I would love to hear y'all's thoughts.